What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to apply an age verification message into your WordPress website to protect your website viewers to access content that isn't made for their ages like for example in the case that you have some drinking site for example or a beer site for this guide, we're going to be using the AgeGate WordPress plugin. That is a free and very complete WordPress plugin to apply age verification gates. So the first step is login to your WordPress dashboard. Go to plugins, add new, and into the search field, we're going to type age verification. You're going to see a couple of plugins. I do recommend that you take a test in every single one. So we can find the best for you. For this guide, we're gonna be using the the most reviewed one, that is the Age Gate, built by Phil Becker. And we're gonna click on Install. We're gonna be installing the plugin. The process can take a minute. And after that, just click on Activate Blue Button. As soon as you do that, we're going to be redirected to the WordPress plugins page. And here you can see the age gate. You have three buttons, settings, deactivate and donate. If you enjoy the plugin, we do recommend that you make a donation to the developers that spend hours working on this plugin. And no, this is not an sponsored video. The, just a, a, an idea for you. The very first option is the age that you can set. Now the validate age using i'm gonna be set as input fields but you can set yes or no for example you and a couple of useful settings like the remember me the that is very important if people if persons using to reload your site and the very end option is redirect failures in the case that someone isn't old enough or young enough to access your site you can set uh, an age verification redirect. So if some person fail to the test, like 17 years old and your site is for bigger than 18, like we are doing here, and it goes to some page explaining why this person can access your site and some ethical things like usage, policies, privacy, and other things. So. This is the default thing, your site name, in my case is my site, but you can change it on settings general, in the site title, and the person needs to apply the month, the day, and the year that they was born. Now, the second tab, messaging. You can change the headline. We're gonna type age verification and the sub headline like some explanation. For example, you need to be old enough to access this page. You need to have 18 years or more to access this content. And very useful thing is you can set this for your entire website or just for some specific pages. If you set the content verification for specific pages, you need to go to this post or this page and enable the plugin to work on it. This is not a global setting, but in our case here, this is a global setting. So two persons access any website page, you need to complete this check for age verification. Now, another important text, you can type your own messages in the case that you want to share more information with your site visitors. Now, save changes and go to appearance. That's one of my favorite parts of this plugin. The very first thing is you can apply your company logo type or your site logo, your brand's logo. Let me update it so we can see. Now, instead of your site title, we're gonna be reviewing or your logo. Now, the background color. Let's choose some gray color. And here's the result we have. 
you can apply a background image, you can change the position, you can change the opacity for more transparency, for example, you can change the foreground, the text color, the layout, the viewpoint, the transition. Another for useful things. Now, into the advanced tab, you can set this page to never be cached. So, if you are using some CDN to make your site faster, like Loadflare, the CDN will not work on this because the cache will not affect this page, which is very useful as well. And other options like a custom style. In the case that you want to style the button, for example, you can get the button. CSS class and apply your CSS down there. Now, to the access and the user rules. The final tab, you can enable this to administrator or editor, author, contributor, subscriber, consumer, and it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And I see you later. All the best!